Good morning, everybody. My name is Juniper Blue Mystique. I am an Ascension Master, Master Healer, and Divine Guide. As a repeat for most who have already been on my channel, I am the one who brought about the Ascension. That is not as easy as it says. It's much more complicated than you think, and I didn't do it just by healing people, okay? I came through and I did what I had to do, calling back my power in every way. I brought through the return of Christ and I have cleared this earth of every darkness in every way. That is the simplest way to say what I have done. I have done it by raising Atlantis, clearing Mount Shasta, activating pyramids, freeing Jesus' soul, and reuniting all twin flames in every way. And then I cleared the Nile. Okay, cleared the Nile. It is all biblical. I didn't understand it all, and it all played out through me and to me on this channel. Most of it resides for you guys to witness and watch. Problem is, People do not watch. So I encourage you to do so. I encourage you to watch the videos. I encourage you to pay attention to what I say. There's a big push right now in the end of days. These are the final hours. That's not a joke. What is that? It's not a joke. This is something to not take lightly. It is something that needs to be taken seriously. Um, and it is what it is in every way. Okay, this is something they want me to actually put on both of my channels. So something's been going on on my Shining Light channel. And there's a reason. Okay, there's a reason that case specifically happened. Okay, there is absolutely a reason that case specifically happened. And I'm going to tell you why. So I usually do twin flame messages today. But my twin flame is, is, is going through a lot. And I want to give him a break. I don't want to overwhelm him and, and he needs his privacy. So that is what I'm giving him. So I'm not doing it. He's a beautiful soul. So I am not doing a twin flame story today on his behalf. I'm giving it a break. Okay. Something big is coming Saturday um, and hopefully he'll be here. Okay. I have faith. Either way, today's message is from the angels and I'm going to pull some cards. Okay. Because... People aren't taking things seriously, and these are the final hours on this planet, and things are being heightened for a reason. Sometimes things are tests for how you handle them, for what you do with them, for how you respond to them, how you react to them. It's a test, okay? And that's Spirit's message so far. So Saint Germain channeled a message, and then I'm going to pull some cards for you guys, and I'm just going to talk to you through Spirit today, um, because... My journey has almost killed me. It has been very painful. It has been highlighted. It has been heightened. It has been exposed for everybody to scrutinize, to pick at, to barely watch, and to judge. And some people in that knew that what I was doing was, was accurate, and they were following, and they were doing their healing, and doing miraculous things along the way. So there's two sides, right? Two sides to the energy right now. And that's what I want you to highlight. And that's what God is highlighting right now. Do you understand? So this Carlethea Russell case that I just did, you guys, it was a test. Okay? That's not a joke. So let's listen to what St. Germain said. Be aware of what you project. Everything is heightened through God. God is watching as it is a rite of passage to see who wants to go and who wants to stay. Do not assume you are not being tested, for you truly are in every way. Oh, the chills when I say that. Oh my good Lord, that's why I did the video I did yesterday, and most people are disliking it, and only six people have watched it, and not even that because two of them are me, um, where actually what I channeled was what was in her heart, and it's proven. But people are judging. They're being nasty, 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 nasty. And that was intentional to see. Okay? Do not assume you are not being tested for you truly are in every way. And at first it hit me hard. I was like, oh God, you know, why would this happen? I quit. And then God's like, don't do that. I said, okay. Because things are happening for a reason. Love is the only vibration that exits, that exists on this plane. Okay, because I brought down the return of Christ. This has taken me almost four years to do. I activated pyramids. I kept, it was in layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. And I took us into 7D. So the vibration here is quite high. 
It is quite high at this time. And if you're not matching it, they're highlighting who's going to go and who's going to stay. We are highlighting what is going to clear the way. See, I'm not kidding. Do not allow judgments to sway you or get in your way. A challenge that takes most away. So when I cleared the Nile on the 26th of this year, okay, Spirit took my hand. I was doing a workshop and they were giving me gifts and barely anybody watches these and then they judge them when they do. Um, and it sucks, right? But, but not everybody does, okay? Not everybody does. Some people have a heart. Some people don't care to be mean no matter what is playing out around them. And others do. Others look for those opportunities to strike and to hurt you and to bring you down and to make you feel small. Um, and so this is very important, okay? This is God's message. This is from St. Germain. St. Germain is an absolute messenger of God. He is actually one of the protectors of the Akashic Records. And every time I do the work, he is one who records in the Akashic Records for the Ascension work that I do. Okay, so when I do DNA activations, when you clear your contracts, when you go through the gates, when I activate a pyramids, all that stuff, St. Germain recorded it. Okay, so this message is not for the faint of heart. This is a very, and, and you know, it's like, I feel like the angels have taken a hit on the Ascension. I feel like a lot of things have. Okay, and it bothers me because of who I am, but I know my heart is pure, right? Can people make mistakes? Yeah, they can. Anybody can. But you don't know where they're coming from. You don't know why they might be doing it. That's the ability to read somebody's heart. Okay? And love the vibration on this planet from the work that I've done, I have done over the last four years, is change the vibration. Okay? Now, when I went through the Nile... All of a sudden, I, I was just giving, getting gifts. I didn't know what was happening. I was doing a healing for my Patreon members, and they were giving me gifts. And then they took me away from the group, and they put my feet in water. And then the water turned blood red, and they said I was the queen of the Nile. It's on my videos. You have to watch it on my main channel, because I'm posting this on both channels. Um, then I, it turned blood red and I was calling back my power from the time of Sekhmet and I saw Sekhmet die. I saw she was murdered and that's what that river of, of beer reflected and everything. It was like a smoke screen. It was a test and don't think for a second I wasn't tested right away after I entered that portal. But that's when they let me know that there are 13 gates, not 12. So Revelations 21.12 speaks of 12 gates that you must go through, that you are tested through. To see who goes and who stays. This was the portal of judgment. <sighs> there is major test and judgment right now. And if you look at all of YouTube, all of what has happened over these last few days, it has been a rampant wave of judgment and nasty, nasty, nastiness. And Spirit says a lot of negative talk towards me. Towards anybody who did anything like with that Carlethea Russell case, this was a test of God. They're also saying there will be more coming out with that. So don't you worry. Regardless, don't go in judgment. And that's what I kept saying. But people don't want to see truths. People don't want to take times with things. Um, and this is literally the end of days. It's the end of ways on this planet, meaning we can't do things out of love anymore. Love is the only vibration that gets to stay here. Okay. Um, and you know, is it easy? No, I've had to heal every past life that I've had. And I don't care if you believe me or not, it's because you're not doing the research because the things that I do are proven left, right, up, down, and center 99.9999% of the time. And if they haven't been yet, they will be in some way. That's what spirit says. Okay. So my clearings of my past lives was Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary. Mag I had one where I didn't wake up. So there was that one first that I had to clear when I was like 13. Because I had a past life where I murdered somebody because he killed my baby and I didn't wake up. And I did actually have to clear that. And somebody did clear, kill my baby in this lifetime and I could not respond. Okay? So that was actually part of what I had to clear before I woke up, before I had my awakening. Then I had my awakening. Then all of a sudden I just started doing this crazy stuff. And it started by me clearing the contract from Adam and Eve because Adam killed Eve on accident. Purpose, accident, fallen angel status. That's what happened to the world. Okay? 
um, then uh, it came to where I was clearing Jesus and Mary Magdalene and I was uniting twin flames and I had to unite Jesus and Mary Magdalene and undo the false holy grail. Then I started clearing the life of Sekhmet and Horus. And when things happen, I do like every person does on this planet and go, oh shit, I just want to close in. I don't like people. It hurts. People are mean. Yeah, they are. They're very judgmental. They're very cold-hearted. They can't see clearly. And a big chunk of them aren't people at all. They're soulless wonders as it is. But it has affected everybody on this planet. Everybody on this planet has gone into a state of lack of love, high in judgment. And that's why Spirit had me do that video. Okay, and I didn't know I was being tested too. I followed my nudge. I did what Spirit told me to do. I channeled what I saw. I put it out more than once. And the whole entire time, everybody took a turn on that story. Everybody started hating the, the, the person involved and started putting them down. And that was not good to do. And I kept saying that this is important. We need to stay in the center line. And I just got chills. I said in the latest video I put on there about her. Okay, on my Shining Light channel. And it was a test. That particular case was a part of this test. I don't know why. Spirit does things like that. Okay. Um, they do things to see people's reactions. All right. Um, people are tested in every way. That's what this message said. Okay. I didn't even know this message was going to come through. I'm like, okay, I'm going to give the twin flame thing a break for my beautiful DM. Just give him space for whatever choice he chooses to make. It's up to him. He's a beautiful soul and I love him and I just want to give that a break. So I didn't want to do a twin flame message. I don't want to tune into the energy. I really don't want to know what he's going to do. It's up to him. I'm, I'm hoping he's here. I love him so much. And that was my thought. I'm like, okay, spirit. And then Tupac, I did a video on Tupac a long time ago, like a year ago, and exactly what I said happened to him is finally starting to surface. Same with John Benet Ramsey. I said there was multiple people involved, and there was a confession, and they actually know there's multiple people involved. Um, and so when I do these things, I cause them to rise out of the surface. And even if they may not align with 100% of your truths or what people want to believe to be true, or whatever the case may be, there's a purpose behind them all, right? And so I followed the nudges. I'm listening. And so I was just going to do a message. I'm still very proud of who I am, regardless of what people want to think, want a lack of think, what kind of judgments people want to throw out, right? I still do me because I know who I am, what I've done, all of the things that are proven for me, let alone, it doesn't matter about what other people think, okay? The right ones will always find their way to you. So I'm like, I'm just going to channel a regular message. And this is what Spirit wanted to say. Is this about fear? Fear is not of God. Fear is not of God. Okay? If you're going into fear, it's because that's the lens you're choosing to see through. Okay? That's the one they have pushed so hard on this planet for many years to come. Fear is not of God. All right? So you can choose to be in fear, but that's not going to help you. Okay, 1333. Have I felt fear in my life? Not a lot, actually. Um, and I've been through very, very difficult moments, right? I was not a spoiled brat. I have not had everything handed to me on a platter. I've survived much abuse, um, and I probably shouldn't be here to this day. And through all of that, I never really had a lot of fear because I knew there was always something more than meets the eye. Now it makes sense for who I am. So fear is not of God because you're powerful. The choice is yours to make. Okay, every which way. So don't assume for a second that these things don't happen as a test of God. Because as I said when I did the Nile, which is a workshop that was witnessed, processed through me, I had no idea it was coming, and recorded and then I had to download and process what I went through and they let me know that there are 13 gates that you will go through there are 13 tests of God and each one has to do with your karma your past lives your everything okay and there's a lot of unfortunate things that aren't mentioning this a lot of star seeds a lot of white light workers that just are not talking about this 
everybody thinks that we can just manifest our way into the new earth or just simply raise our vibration and be there. And that is not it at all. This is the return of God. And what this means is that we can't take anything that does not equal love vibration into the new earth. So regardless of what may happen with these cases that I channel or anything like that, I was spot on for what she told the police happened to her, period. It's what was in her heart space. And people are so damn mean, mean, mean. And then I found out today that it was a test of God for how people responded and reacted including myself, because I almost didn't do that one. I had a plan to do Heath Ledger, because I'm really good at what I do, and what I do is usually proven to be accurate. So I've gotten faith in what I do, regardless of what other people think. I wasn't going to do this video, and it popped up, and God said do it. And I've channeled it a couple times, and I get validations when I do it. And I know right now I'm in a high vibration. My, my, everything's clear. Okay. And then when it came down, I was like, I'm going to delete this all. Right. And God said, don't do that. Don't do that. Withstand this. Withstand it. Stand strong. So I did. But I'm used to that. Um, people judge. That's what they always do. That's why we hesitate to do things. That's why, um... This world sucks. And it's emotional for me because I've watched it play out. And that same thing happens on my regular channel. I do these workshops. I posted a workshop. I show you guys how important are the things that I say in them. How they truly do matter. It's not about me. It's about your rite of passage. Things that we should know. Ways to awaken, how to grow, how to love, how to understand the world around us and all the lies that they filled us with every day of our life. And even the new ones I've posted, only 20 people watched. But if I post something about the final hours, 72 people watch it. But it had had a workshop in it too. And I showed you in there what I talked about. So I wonder how many people watched the end of that video. But my whole point is, is so many people are shrouded in judgment and in fear and in things that are not of God. And these were, these are all testaments. They've been tests. If you think you're not being tested, you truly are in every way. Do not assume you are not being tested for you truly are in every way. You're being tested by God. Can you see what matters? Or do you fall prey to the collective judgment? Did you know we just went through a test? I don't either usually. I remember when I went through my heart review. It was when my first DM was uh, first took off with a fallen angel. And I had to be very careful. And we went through a heart review right in that moment because God needed to see what was going on. And that is when they told me that my heart was pure light and my DMs had a black hole in it. And he died. And I got a walk in. People need to take these things seriously. But they're not. And I can't make them do it. People want to go into fear and then they don't move. They're wasting time. Or they go into judgment against me. Which is definitely a detriment. But a judgment against yourself. A judgment against anybody is not of God. And I keep saying this left and right and on center. Do not judge people. You don't know why they're doing what they're doing. We forgot how to love here. We forgot how to have respect for one another. We forgot to wait for truth to come out. We forgot. We forgot that the shadow runs rampant and fools you in every way. I find it interesting how many people will pay attention to a title that almost sparks fear, like the final hours. It is the final hours. These are tests. You have choices to make. And then they said, do not allow judgments to sway you or get in your way. A challenge that takes most away. 
because that's how the shadow actually took a lot of light off of this planet. Creating fear, manipulation, and judgment. Unfortunately, they say the end of days is judgment day. And judgment is not of God. It's a test of your heart center. Where are you at? Where is your heart? And can you see clearly to what is God? Because that is the only thing that can stay. Are you willing to listen? Are you willing to follow nudges? Are you willing to pay more attention to what's going on around you before you make assumptions or put people down or lessen them in any way? Who cares if something was a hoax? What was in her heart was measured. And everybody stabbed her in every way. And people used it for fame and fortune rather than healing or love. And they continue to do this. So if you think for a second you're not being tested, you are in every way. I would say pay attention because things will try to sway you. Things that are happening right now are tests. <laughs> Whether you want to see it or not. Is it about fame and fortune? Is it about you being recognized in some way? Who the fuck cares? Try being me. I can literally tell you, hey, I brought the return of Christ about. And you know how many people right away are like, ah, oh, fuck, she's crazy. Not, not many. There's been a few. But not many will do the research. Because I tell you, I can prove it up, down, left, right, and center. I've been hypnotized. That guy freaked out. <laughs> Quit healings because he's like, that's not normal. Norm normally people don't go to God. I'm like, who am I? He's like, I don't know. Because at that time, I couldn't know. I've had this painting was done before I actually did the work. Somebody did a reading on me. This was what she saw in my energetic field. And then it turns out it happened. And I didn't know what it meant at the time. I sat on Saturn with Hermes the God and we rose Atlantis. Then I cleared Mount Shasta, all the dead bodies out of it. Then I was supposed to meet my twin flame and we cleared the collective shadow except for he died because he got thwarted by a fallen angel. This is not about fear. Fear is not of God because it's up to you. Fear is what they created for the V and for everything else. Oh, your kids can't go to school unless they're completely vaccinated. Fuck you. Not you guys. You know what I'm saying? There's so many things, so many things that force you and manipulate you and poke and prod you. And how many times, how many of you turn around and do the same thing to somebody else? Well, I will only love you if. You know how many things I saw on YouTube today about Carlethia? Liar, manipulator, abusive, cheater. It was funny because I did another video where Spirit said it's not a hoax. And they kept saying nobody cheated. And I'm like, what does that mean? Why are they saying that? I didn't know. And now I see it all play out. Pay attention to what's going on around you. Do not be quick to react. Take your time to sit with things and respond. Because I didn't even know we were being tested. Just because I've brought it about, I'm still tested every day for growth and measurement. And I get chills. We all are. This is what they call the Last Supper. It's the end of time. Meaning, you cannot behave the same way we once did and make it through. Don't judge. This was a judgment testament. A testament for judgment. To see, to reflect on who's in the light even more on deeper layers. Each one is. Each thing that's happening right now that's unfolding in your environment has to do with that. Exposures of another kind. And I thought, why God? Why would I channel this? Why would I have this information and then I have it come out as a fraud? 
Yet what I said matched exactly almost to a T what she told the police happened to her. Because I read her heart and I did my part accurately. You think people even take the time to watch that video? Mm -mm. They just dislike it. Oh, she's stupid. She don't know what she's talking about. You ever worked with me? Have you ever worked with me? Have you ever experienced what I do? Do you watch all my videos? Do you watch the proof? Because spirit gives it to you constantly with what I do. So I feel better. Because no matter what was playing out in my environment, I listened to God. We forgot how to do that. We've spent so long listening to something that was not God. And judgment is not of God. At all. If you find yourself in judgment. If you find yourself going, oh, this person's dark. I need them away from me. Oh, 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 oh. Don't do that. I've never done that. What I do is tell spirit to clear my way. When somebody then hurts me, I do have to put up my protections. But the thing is, is if you're in a spiritual routine and you're in balance, it's harder for those things to get in your way. Once we let them, just like I did the video yesterday, and very few people watched that. It's like, what do you guys want? You want me to tell you you're going to die tomorrow? Do I need to create fear? Because that seems to be the lens most people look through. That's the lens most people look through. So when she went missing, people were like all over that. But the moment she was found, people are like, oh, what's happening? And then the police literally still said, like, there's still not a lot of proof of anything. Who's the people that helped her? There's still more evidence that has to come out. But everybody immediately goes to liar, cheater, stealer, horrible person. Maybe she did something you don't like. But you don't know her heart. You don't know my heart. Or any of those others who tried to care along the way. Are you perfect? These are testaments of God. Can you love regardless of people's mistakes? Most people don't, unfortunately. So they are saying do not let shade get in your way. We need to learn how to love unconditionally. We need to learn how to pay attention to minute details. Because 80% of the people that I saw and in this experience did not at all. If any, actually. Spirit's seeing even less than that. I'm giving it a little bit of a boost. But it's even less than that. I post and post and post and post on my main channel, activating pyramids. Do you even know what that means? That's not normal. And I enlarged my heart to do it because I used my light to do it. That's not normal. But very few people watch those. I constantly have to repeatedly put it in front of people's faces. But they'll watch when I say it's the final days. But little did you know, you're not healing. You're missing the marks. This isn't about fear. It's about understanding what is true and what is not. That's why in the end of days, things will be highlighted in a crazy, crazy way. These are testaments of God. Okay? So I kept saying, walk the center line. Do not go into judgment here. Something's up. And I'm getting chills when I said that. I said, walk the center line. Do not go into judgment here. Something's up. And nobody listens. So let's see what else spirit has to say. Okay. Unconditional love is hard to find. But that is the only thing that will remain here. Does that mean we need to let others hurt us? No. There's a difference between boundaries and protections to judgment. Do not assume spirit just protects you from things because if you're out of balance, if you're not shining your light, they can't really protect you. You're the one who's not letting them. Unless you ask. Okay? There's, that's the thing. There's free will here. Okay? Little did I know, I did what God told me to do, and I'm glad I did. And I almost didn't. 
Because you get afraid of people judging you. People are assholes. And it hurts. And it hurts God too. Protection cave. Told you. This is protecting our environment. We have to highlight what must go. Fluidity, outer core. See? Fluidity, outer core. Learn to be fluid in what is guiding you and let everything else drip away. Okay? Outer core to inner core. Right? Um, like what just happened to me. Spirit literally told me to do this video. And I'm like, okay. And I did it. And I channeled it. And I channeled again. And I got what God told me to put on there. What Spirit told me to put on there. I felt into her heart. And I put it on there. She firmly believes this happened to her. And I get chills every time I say that. And little did I know it was a testament of God to see how people react to that whole entire story. So if you think God for one second doesn't use individuals in the environment, they do. Purity. Ice. It's about knowing the difference between what is true and what is not. It's about taking the time to allow things to absorb before you react. Okay? And it's, again, not about fear. If you go into fear, it's because you are in a fear lens. God does not have fear because God says, what's your choice? That's what the final day means. What's your choice? Do you want to go or do you want to stay? Do you want to pay attention to what is not of God? Or do you want to allow love to guide the way? Does love say we all have to be perfect? I completely channeled what was in her heart. It was accurate to what she said. To what she actually told the police after I channeled it. After she came back. How would I know that? But people still refuse to watch. To pay attention. To listen to what's happening. And I had said in that video, walk a very fine line. Oh, the chills when I say that. Walk a very fine line. Because if you go into judgment either way, it's not good. And it made me feel so sick to my stomach watching what happened on YouTube. Watching how people react and the things that they do. People get pissed off about clickbait, but it seems the only thing that people want. Nobody takes the time to pay attention. Some people do. Let me correct that. Very few do. They go into judgment immediately. They want to manipulate. They want, I will only love you if. I will only listen to you if. I will only love you if. You're an idiot. You're stupid. This is a waste of my time. This is, this is what I feel. That came at me. That came at everything in this energy lately. It's insane. And there's a big shift coming in two days that I'm bringing about. We're clearing Mount Shasta part two. That's a big deal. 33, 33. That's a big deal for why this test came through right before I'm clearing Mount Shasta for the second time. Because it's a reflection of highlighting who is going and who is staying. And that's going to continue forward. Lies cannot exist here. So if it is a lie, it will surface. And that is okay. The reality of it is I channeled what was in her heart and everybody threw shade her way. Maybe in her heart she is suffering. Nobody gave her that time of day. So again, not about fear. If, if what I'm saying is sparking fear in this one, that's not me. That's your shadow. That's your lens of fear. You can change that. I have no responsibility for that. I'm not pushing fear. I'm pushing truce. I'm pushing through recognition, and I'm realizing that that hurt me too. But I was still accurate in what I said. The chills are insane when I say that. 
but nobody's paying attention. Carly was a test of God. What I did was in that test as well. I had to listen to God too. And even if it went against with the collective whole, because what do you want me to do? Be like those one people on YouTube where all I care is about monetary value? A, a time to give rather than take. That's just what I just said. It is a time to give rather than take. You see the green? Green is heart reflection. It is a time to give rather than take. It's not about you. It is. But it's about growing in love. How do we give love? Rather than I will only love you if. I will only watch you if. I will only pay attention if. Where's the proof? How about the proof was there? You just didn't look. What proof are you looking for? That I'm reading something that wasn't in front of you? And I was accurate because it was. But what truth are you looking for? And then everybody putting her down, calling her Jesse Mullet. Even that guy, I knew something was there. Okay. But then the funny thing is, as you watch P. Diddy, everybody respects him. And he's a cold blooded murderer. I am heightened because this one hurt me. What do you need to release? That's what it's highlighting. Okay. So if you caught up, got caught up in the judgment, release that shit. Recognize it. Heal it. And let it go. This was one of my challenges because no matter what was happening in my environment, as the person who brought about the ascension... I have a lot, of, a lot of responsibilities where that goes. I don't think people realize that. It's not a presidential state anymore. So I have a lot of responsibilities. And this was a test of my own from God as well. And I knew that afterwards. Like yesterday. And I was like, you're right, God. And then they show me other places. Look how accurate you are. Look how accurate you are. Don't worry about what those people think of you. Because it was a test. Can you listen to God regardless of judgment? Regardless of others being able to see clearly what you're saying or doing or wanting or needing? Communication is key. They want more. Everybody already assumes that I'm just a psychic. <laughs> Far from it. I'm not just a medium. I'm not like anybody else on this planet. And a lot of people go into ego. And I spark it. That's who I am. I'm a master healer. I'm the one who brought about the ascension. The lifetimes that I had to clear for me, for me, my karma, my lifetimes, there was one, two, three, four of them. One was before I woke up and it was Somebody killed my baby in a past life and I literally did murder him. You're fucking right, I did, right? Um, they, they, he, killed, he beat me. My husband in that lifetime was like in the 1800s. He beat me. He killed me. No, he, didn't. he killed my baby. And I couldn't take the sorrow. I couldn't take that. I couldn't stand for that. I'm a mama, okay? And so while he was sleeping, I had drugged him to sleep and then I stabbed him right here. I saw that when I had my awakening. I'm like, what does that mean? Little did I know that it really did play out in my lifetime, this lifetime as well. But I didn't kill the person. I was beat at 13 until I lost my baby. Because my mom let my boyfriend live with me. Okay? Did my mom beat me? Not exactly, no. That is a true story. It really did happen to me. The father of the baby was right there with me when I had to deliver it in the toilet and flush it. Don't like that story? It's true. Okay? That was the first karma I had to clear, the first life I had to clear. And I didn't respond in the same way. I responded with love and feeling sorry for the whole situation. Boom, on to the next. Testaments of your lifetime. Testaments of your previous choices. Testaments of your growth that you chose to come here to do. Because people want to go into the kingdom of God. Then my next one was waking up 
in clearing Adam and Eve. I sat on Saturn and I rose Atlantis and I saw how I died in Atlantis. Then I had to clear that karma and that was a bitch. It wasn't my karma necessarily, it was my twin flames. I had to wake him up. He chose darkness and it took me a long time to fight for his soul back. And he tried to kill me through the fallen angels really badly, very painfully. We almost didn't make it on the ascension, but people don't even see that. They don't even respect that. There's judge. They don't believe it. They don't look for the proof. Then after that, Jesus and Mary Magdalene are united and cleared the unholy grail. And I saw how Jesus died. Didn't die on a cross. That cross is a false cross. It's not of God. The Ankh is the true cross. And that's what they showed me before I cleared the Nile. I didn't know that yet. Then after that, I started clearing Sekhmet's lifetime, which was my other one. So it was Adam and Eve, Jesus and Mary Magdalene, Sekhmet. All of those lifetimes were my lifetimes I had to clear. What are yours? Little did you know that that was a test of God. And I kept saying, tread lightly. Do not go into judgment. Stay on the center line. And nobody listened to it. And on this, that's on the Shining Light channel. On this channel, I posted all kinds of things. Nobody's listening to it. But if I finally put us the final hours, which is true, that's why we're being tested again through judgment, then people want to see. You can't manifest your way through, and this is why. And Landrianka said it perfectly. Even Hitler could manifest. We need to reach out for another. This is about union. This is about unity rather than judgment. This is about supporting one another and loving one another and realizing that that is what makes the world go round. <laughs> Giving and receiving. I can't make this up. We must give and receive. It's not about what's for me, what's for me, what's for me, 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 my prestige, my this, my that, my that. And that's what the test I had too. It's like, why do I want to put something out where people are going to judge and it's not accurate? And God said, just wait. Do not hide your channel. Just wait. And I was like, okay. Because I was like, am I a failure? Why would this be happening? And God said, just wait. Don't sabotage. I said, okay. So I left it out there and did another video. Put what spirit said to say. And now I'm like, oh, it makes perfect sense. We need to nurture. It's about nurturement, support, healing, love, recognition, and helping each other through. Giving and receiving. It's not about, ooh, I'm going to use this as money for me. Ooh. Let's go with the collective soul and just put people down and tear people down. And we don't know the whole thing. She was a liar, a cheater. And it's funny because Spirit was telling me nobody cheated. And I'm like, what does that mean? Why am I saying that? Because it hadn't even been put out yet. With a whole bunch of people going, oh, she just cheated. He cheated on her with a prostitute. So she faked her, her kidnapping. If you think for a second things like that are not a test of God, you're wrong. The way things play out in your environment are absolute tests of God at this time. Can you follow what God says regardless of what others think of you? Or what others try to do to you? And can you have love and compassion through it all? That is Spirit's message for today. There's nothing else. So much love to you all, and I just hope I get to meet my twin flame, because I'm sure people judge me on that too. Till next time, have a great day.